What's up guys, Austin Numa here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today I'm going to be tackling something that I get asked a lot on my Instagram which is what are my export settings for my YouTube videos and I'm going to be tackling that right now. I'm going to walk you through the process of how I export one of my videos. I've already got my clip here ready to go and this is my frame rate just for full disclosure and this is a 4k video so let's keep that in mind. It's 38 40 by 2160, 4800 hertz, and it's very important that we know these settings when we come up to this export screen in a second. So let's go ahead and drag this onto our timeline. The sequence, by the way, and this is just S-Log3 footage that I was playing around with, but uh, the sequence, by the way, is another thing. Now, my sequence is 23.976 frames per second, so 24 frames a second. 2560 by 1440 and 4800 hertz that's what I use uh, so let's go ahead and start the export so I've got my clip here I'm ready to go I'm gonna hit command M to bring up my screen to export alright so now that I have this screen pulled up let's go over here to format I'm gonna go down to h264 which is what you want to use for a lot of online video content that you're gonna be putting out usually some people do match source but I'm gonna go with the custom setup today doesn't really matter about the name for me right now. Export video and audio, and here's just kind of a basic rundown of my settings. Now, this is a 4K video, but I'm exporting off of my sequence settings, which is 2560 by 1440. So let's go ahead and click match source, and that'll even it up. But if we didn't have that option, we want to change this. We can unclick this and then kind of enter these values as we'd like. So I won't touch that for now. My frame rate is 24 frames a second, so that's right. You always want progressive. You, I mean, there's rare occasions that you would ever want to do interlaced, but in this case, let's go with progressive. Uh, aspect ratio, that's fine. So let me go ahead and tackle profile and level for a second. So profile, to my understanding, uh, for the main profile, that would be if you're doing like a standard definition uh, digital broadcast of some sort. Uh, I've always been told to use high, so that's what I use for my exports, and uh, that's what I'm sticking with. So as far as the level, this is going to depend on your resolution. And for me, I usually like to put it at 5.2 because usually I'm shooting in 4K, but I'm going to throw up this chart here, and you can check out and kind of see how it breaks down a little bit between these two top tier levels. Uh, it really depends on your frame rate and the resolution that you're using. So I use a lot of 120 frames a second HD footage uh, and I use a lot of 4k in my original footage so this is definitely something that I like to use which is 5.2 so now we're gonna go down here you always want to check render at maximum depth if you want your video to look nice and clean that's what you always want to use now we're gonna go down to bitrate settings is for bitrate settings I always use VBR 2 pass you're just gonna get the best overall look for this and I feel like it's probably the most thorough that you're going to get when it comes to this kind of footage. So let's go ahead and set this and I'm going to go ahead and say a target bit rate of about 50 uh, with a maximum bit rate of about 60. So this is uh, usually where I like to stay around when I'm exporting my footage. I just feel like it's once again usually the best for me. So I've always kind of kept it right here for uh, 4K and HD 120 uh, frames per second. And moving on, we want to go down here to use maximum render quality. As always, you do want to use maximum render quality. It's going to take longer, but you're going to get a cleaner product once you're done. So now we're going to go over here to the audio tab. So AAC is what I always use, audio codec AAC. 48,000 hertz is what I'm using as I was showing you earlier on what my clip settings were. Uh, and I have a stereo setup. So audio quality, high. And that's really it. 320 looks good and bit rate. So, I mean, 320 is going to be the maximum. So you want to make sure it's maximum bit rates good. So what I would do from here is I would click export and we're good to go. Thanks for joining me in this video tutorial today. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you did learn something. If we can get 50 likes on this, I'll do a video on the best Instagram export settings. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram, at Austin Makes Films. And if you did like this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.